to be an overwatch down this hall. Well, thank you so much, C-Lab. How did your recordings go? Excellent. C-Lab just brought me a cup of hot chocolate. Right. Uh, that went down by itself, which was uh, unexpected, if I'm honest. Now, I may get myself into a bit it. of trouble by doing this, but we'll see. Nope. Good. We're going to approach up from this direction just to clear this area. You are definitely able to just charge through. Okay. Well, given that, then you're also going to make your way up. I have to move. You do. It is true. Right, nothing on this side. So the only place a hatching sentinel can now exist is there. Right. Well, that means that I don't have to play around with the eggs on this side. I only have to destroy this one and possibly that one, maybe, to get enough room. But otherwise, we're good. I'll keep both eyes open. Thank you. Targeting. You would probably not get through, but this will definitely kill. Apparently. That's that. All right, now I'm kind of tempted to get you to get your will back this turn, so I'm just going to have you recover. Receiving loud and clear. It's for you. Your range is relatively close, but it's not too to terrible. Uh oh, where are you? There we are. How close? Again, not terribly close. You can definitely get into position. Be certain of our victory and then finish you off. Plan? I may do. Uh, first, recover. Oh. Where are you looking? Where are you looking? So, being here would be fine for me. Let's Move make up. this happen. No choice, but you. Going. I can just get you into position, and then on the next turn you can take a shot or two. We'll have you here. Sort that out momentarily. Right, where are you going to be standing? Uh, I think I'll have you just be on guard. Switch over to our pistol for now. And I guess just watch that area. Alright, nothing else to do other than go into Overwatch. If anything moves in these areas, we want to shoot it. And if it doesn't move, then just leave it be. Alright. This should be the end of it then. Now, what's the chance of me being able to hit? Oh, I can do quite a lot of damage, actually. My turn. Use up some of your will. We can get two shots with this, and then I could probably finish it with a shotgun, if I'm honest. On the mark. Hey, Abba, what do you think about Ninth Dawn 3? Um... Nothing, because I'm not familiar, I'm afraid. Sorry not to be able to give you a proper answer. Confirming target. 
succeeded. And you can actually probably just okay. finish okay, it okay, off. Okay. It's sounding a little bit excitable there, to be honest. But there we go. Pandora Nest sterilized. Everyone will breathe a sigh of relief. We got all of our uh, skill points there. I guess I could have tried to take more of the enemies. But, like the worms and the eggs. Mm, uh, however, I'm not really too fussed about it. I guess I could have actually gone in there and, and tried to grab a mind fragger, for example. I think we need to start, if we're going to be augmenting, a lot more augmenting going on. Pandora Ness has been neutralized and abandoned by its inhabitants. The rest of humanity can breathe a sigh of relief. Blessed are those who seek transformation. But to seek alone is not enough. Neither is to speak. For these were the ways of the false gods of old, who drowned in the flood that Anu commanded. To be initiated further into the sacred teachings of the Exalted, you must show that you will act on behalf of humanity. Not merely the humanity that was, but the humanity that will be. See. There are some who still cling to the sins of the old world. Even now they are consumed by greed, thinking that if they hoard enough, they will survive the coming changes. These brigands have attacked many of our havens, and those of others also. Let the judgment of the dead god fall upon them. Okay. Well, I mean, if they're bandits, I've got a problem with that. We will cast out the heathens. Let the pain they have visited upon others be returned unto them tenfold. Okay, the second initiation, new diplomatic mission has been received. Sinidrian probably seems strange to you. Trying to build a better world. A world radically different from the one most of us grew up in. Well, I'm sure it sounds very utopian. But why do we so easily accept the world getting worse and can never imagine it getting better? It's actually a reasonable thing to ask. That's, a, that, that's kind of a profound question. Um, like, legitimately, if you, if you stop to think about it, that is a very profound question. Uh, we were close enough with both Anu and Sinedrian, it seems, that uh, we have triggered more diplomacy between them. Now, the world can definitely get better. <laughs> the world can get better, but not the way Sinedrian is doing. No, it can definitely get better. I'm glad our values are aligned, at least in this matter. Please keep thinking about what kind of world you want to live in. Maybe we can build it together. Maybe. All right. Top things up. Oh, okay. No more iconoclast magazines for our shotgun. Poop. We quite badly need some things. Second initiation, all the way over there. Uh, but I really, really need. I may have to trade. Oh no, I can trade some food for the for these still. Okay, let's move. I would like to be over here to stop this thing from just destroying everything. But... New recruits available. Pandorans have initiated a raid flight. I'm not going to trade my food away too recklessly from now on. Uh, mine frag rag. Have I not had one of those before? Oh, loads of food there. Yes, please. Wow. Also, uh, I would like to top up that ammo, please, and indeed, thank you. Good. You've got plenty of stamina. Uh, let's see if we can't get over here. And deal with this aerial combatant. Okay. 
Damage performance inflicted on tritons is increased by 10%. There is evidence that the specimen used to be human, but was subjected to violent mutation. The creature appears to have been engineered with the goal of acting as an infiltrator, combining speed and camouflage capabilities taken from marine and land species. The specimen has proven devious in its attempts to escape, suggesting it has retained a significant part of it hum its human intelligence. Yet all attempts to communicate with it have failed. Attempts to restore the creature's mind process to its human state have also proven unsuccessful. Fair enough. Food harvesting technology. A member of the science team has explored the possibility of harvesting Pandoran flesh for food. The idea is dangerous and distasteful on many levels, but considering the circumstances might be necessary in order for the human race to survive. Bonus effect. Food can now be produced from captured Pandorans in the Pandoran uh, containment facility. Well. Nom, nom, nom. Crabs back on the menu, boys. <laughs> well played. I approve. Uh, oh, good lord. We can make mutoids already. I can harvest it. Or I can get food from it. I think this would kill it. Cannot be healed. Corruption immunity. Should we make one, chat? I mean, it's only going to cost us 50 DNA points. Kind of tempting, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use some... Uh, Mutagens for that. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, has been created and deployed to Tater Crate. Good, 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 good. That's what I wanted to be. Alright then, chat. Before I can see how much I can uh, adjust it, we need a name. And this one's going to require a new... Uh, a new keyword. Um... There you go. Hashtag Crabman in chat right now. If you would like the chance to have this mutoid named after you. We've got 10 prepaid naming games in chat right now, which is lovely. Uh, Tuki, thank you very much for the sub there. I was an awful caster and I didn't call it out. Thank you very much. Uh, Merlin Rafiki as well for 41 months. Good morning, Ava. Good morning, chat. So glad to catch another stream. You sheeple. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub as well. Diochavarian. Frost Dragon as well with the Prime sub. Echo 419 OP. I believe I called you out. Trevinix though. I'm not sure if I caught you. Thank you all so very, very much. More golds. Mitch Monkhouse. Walker Ranger 45. You're all truly amazing. What is wrong with their face? Uh, they are literally made out of Pandora virus and human scientists' fever dreams. That is what's wrong with their face. Okay, we're going to roll. Boom. It's Habitual Oaf. Well done, Habitual Oaf. Congratulations. You are not mutoid. There you go. Welcome. Yes, their face opens. Let's go in and see what we can do. Mutoid soldiers have only five levels, each follow, allowing them access to one soldier and one Pandoran ability per level. 
While mutoids gain experience the same way other soldiers do, they require mutagens in order to learn new abilities. Increasing statistics also requires mutagens, and is done in the same way as with other soldiers. Okay, so armor. Genetically constructed mutoid head. Right. Um... <laughs> Habitual loaf. What a what a strange look you have there. Because that is one thousand percent not uh, not what we see when we look at you. No, no, no. There we go. Ah, it's changed. Wait. We can change the color of your face. This is great. All right, so we can just choose this. Uh, I can choose jump, jump up or down one building level. Character's perception range is doubled or paralyzed limb. This is because we got the uh, components off, I guess. I, I wonder if there would be more things in here because it looked like it was full up. We've got the Triton, we've got the Arthron. I wonder what other kind of crazy things we could put. Pepper Cloud, that definitely came from the the um, Archeon. That looks more like Broken Skin, though. Uh, well, I guess it looks more like a Harlequin. But they've got a split jaw. Good night, Leafin. And with that, I'm off to bed. Have a good rest of your day, chat, and enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you, mate. You have a good sleep, mate. Cactus perception range is doubled. They would be a very good sniper if we did that. A paralyzed limb. Disable target body part for one turn. I mean, if I could just go up to someone, that would be amazing on like a berserker or something like that. I think jump is probably a better option. Um, fire resistant reduces effects of fire. Silent echo or weapon attacks are silent. That would be amazing. Type of cloud reduces accuracy by 50% of all organic enemies within five tiles for one turn. Confusion cloud reduces the enemy's speed by 75% to all organic enemies within ten tiles. Siphon attack. Deal 50 melee damage and restore that many hit points. Okay, now that is genuinely amazing. Poison resistant. Poison damage is reduced by half. Spit poison. Spit poison at enemies or uh, at enemy targets. So natural weapons, quite a lot of them. Become invisible when dealt damage and hide in a nearby location. Cure spray. Removes all paralysis, bleeding, poison, strained, infected, dazed, and slowed status effects from target ally. So just, you can constantly just spray purifying stuff on people. Virus resistant. Reduces the effect of virus damage. Regeneration. Restores 10 hit points to all body parts each turn. There we go. And finally, Resurrect. Well now. So if there is a humanoid target, humanoid, not human. You can just be like, yeah, no, you're you're alive. And uh, now the thing is, is it on my side? Because it's kind of useless if it's not, but. Yeah, spit that healing juice right on me. Oh my lord, flashbacks of bleach. Ah, I forget the character's name now. And I don't know. That's annoying me, actually. But, uh. Her saliva <laughs> was apparently had healing properties. I'm just vomiting on on poor guy's face. <sighs> Nelly L. Wow, Dark Finite Phoenix, you were right on that. Well played. Now we are currently a uh, proficient with assault rifles and shotguns. So double perception range isn't really the most useful for me.
But jumping up or down levels without any need? That's really good. I'm going to take that. Yes, confirm. I'm also going to dump a stupid amount of mutagen into your speed straight off the bat. Oh, this is amazing. I also want to pop your willpower up to 10. You're not very strong, though, when that is a problem. Sadly, you know what I notice? No augmenting. We can't. Ha we can't have mutant, uh, mutant cyborgs. I know. I know, Jen. It, it makes me really sad too. But you know, this is just the way it is. Can't have everything, even if we deserve it. Yeah, I can't make that. I don't have enough resources. That is annoying. Okay, I'm going to cancel those for now, and I am then going to make this. It's going to take me six hours to finish. I mean, the Iconoclast would be great as well to have as a backup, so I'll make that too. I would really like to get Habitual Loaf out there. And earning some points. Because I need to get them leveled up, basically. I don't need these right now. Okay, so... We're already on our way. If we want to stop them from attacking, I need to get over there right now, but... Thankfully, I believe they are. Tater Crater does have a training facility, so they are gaining experience just from being there, so that's fine. It's fine for now. I think ultimately I'm going to set this place up as a pure training facility, and then I'll drop off. I'll tend to try and drop off people here if they're not coming out on missions with me. Are there any crab women in this world, perchance? Uh, yeah, I imagine so. I, I'm fairly certain I was able to switch uh, the way they present. Let's go in there. Under body type? Yeah. So let's go back out. Uh, but it's not really going to make any difference, I don't think. I mean, you know, they are literally made. It, there, there is no part of them which is... Uh, uh, <sighs> Well, they're not born, let me put it that way. They are constructed. So, what markers would be necessary, I don't know. Like, you know, it, it's probably not got a navel, for example. I'm not even sure it would necessarily class as a mammal, you know? Get over there if we can. What? Oh my lord. I'm already over here. Tunk. Okay, intercept any of the aircraft. Yes! Oh dear lord. Incendia damage 40. Acid damage 50. It's chunky, but let's engage. Yeah! Target is within range. Q on their longest range weapon. Now, is that a seeking? It's visual guidance, so I should be able to dodge. Ah, poop. Also, start firing on the same part. There we go. Let's take that out, please. Glorious. Now, this is a little bit more worrisome. 
what's this cooldown? Every 10 seconds, what's this cooldown? Duration is 10 seconds. If both weapon strikes hit it, we'll take it out. Uh, oh, right. This is not a... This is a heat-guided weapon. Right, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we need to wipe that out right now. I'm on fire, chat! It hurts! I am burning! Oh, quickly. Oh, no. All right, then. I guess I'm disengaging. Balls. That is annoying. Well, we tried, but we failed. Can't we do it? All right, okay. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't approach it. I can't tell it to stop, or at least I didn't notice if I could. Maybe I could. In which case, my bad. Very sorry. Arthron Vivis action is going down. Uh, how long will this take to repair? Can I repair it? Do I just need to make more of it? Bears on its own. The Beomoth will constantly emerge from the ocean and begin a horrible rampage, ruining several havens. We must do all we can to hinder its advance. Various acts of defiance against the creature will score disruption points. These include destroying a Karen, a Berith, or an Abaddon, and cleansing an infested haven. When enough disruption points are scored, the Beomoth will cease its rampage and go back to the ocean. Only this once we shall embrace humanity and ally with our sinful brethren in the grand rite of winged warfare. For the sake of the dead god and all living things. Well, I mean, its disruption points are rising, but I think it is actually utterly destroying a bunch of stuff. Much shame. I'm not sure I'm going to get there in time. When kept in isolation, the Arthron's behavior seems to revert to the most basic animal functions. On the battlefield, they clearly rely on intelligent direction from some more intelligent Pandoran mutations. From what we can decipher, their language relates mostly to combat and killing, but mixed in with some strange references to an all-seeing entity. They are not independent beings, but are created by some kind of cloning process that constantly mutates in a similar manner to the RNA editing process first discovered in coleoid cephalopods. Language, rudimentary, vocabulary estimated at 450 words. Interrogation, AI reproduction of language was not able to elicit any useful information except reference to a superior being. Countermeasures, behavioral and psychological analysis will give our operatives an advantage in combating Arthrons in the field. Have you ever thought about the ethics of our relationship with the Arthrons? We all say we're fighting to save humanity, but aren't they human, at least in part? They can speak, they can think. Mm -hmm. I, Crab Man. I mean, if they could be separated from whatever guiding intelligence has malign intent on Earth, I'd be okay with cohabiting with them. So would I. After all, in a way, they are part of us. Our friends, our That's families, going quite all far, those but who were taken from us, I would take them back if I could. I don't think any of them are your friends and families. I think it's probably just some sort of human genetic soup. But still. Can we get here in time? Let's try. I don't think I can, sadly. Will I be? Ah. Uh, Damn it. Okay. We have discovered a bunch of things, including the Iconoclast. 
Sadly, I wasn't able to get there in time, so I will not have the opportunity to uh, join in and gain some extra points there. A bit annoying. Now, habitual oaf. Who should we drop off? Chaos Dragon's obviously staying with us. Bristmoth, I think, is going to be staying with us. I'm going to say... Swift Squirrel, you're going to be moving over to the Tater Crater. Patrol Oaf, you're going to swap over. Let's drop off these items. You can roll with a regular... Uh, the shield coming with us as well. There you go. Alright, Habitual Oaf. You can't wear a helmet. That's fine, though. And you can have that, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to pump your strength quite a lot, actually. Uh... Oh, I'm so I'm bumping the wrong power because I'm an idiot. Shut up, chat! Not a word! We're okay. Is this a turn based shooter? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. I bet you off. Let's uh, get out there, do some damage, maybe. Got a lot of places to investigate down here if we want to. A couple of places over there to investigate. I've got a mission over here. I've got four days on Overrun. <sighs> what do you reckon, chat? Should we... <laughs> Habitual Oaths, first mission. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's hit a couple of other places first. But, uh... Tiamat. While appearing to be a piece of technology, the Anno Disciple... Ed Ridger is part machine and part living order based on the design of a pre... Uh, we've already read that, actually. Any research is available, though. Anu Winged Warfare Doctrine. The Gospel of the Exalted warns of a great enemy in the sky and offers clear instructions for a winged aerial warfare. Sure, I'll pop that in. I swear, if we if we can... If if we take a live mind fracker and I can... I can... Uh, mutate... <laughs> My own troops with Mindfragger heads. <laughs> that would be the funniest thing in the world because they pop their head off in order to take over whatever they're taking over. So all of a sudden, my troops' body with all of their equipment just collapses to the ground as their head just goes <laughs> onto an Arthron. And it's now my Arthron. Hey, Kilgo, how are you doing, mate? Thank you ever so much for that, for that uh, host. That was super kind of you. The progeny of ye olde Exxon. Indeed, yes, very much so. Very, very much so. All right, okay. Mindfragger Egg. The specimen's shell has proven to be considerably durable, able to resist fire, acid, and small arms fire. The egg contains various animal and plant DNA strands. So far, it has been determined that the egg acts more like a biological stasis pod, which holds Mindfraggers in a state of suspension rather than being a growth or incubation chamber. The exact mechanism by which the specimen appears and grows remains unknown. Additional findings? Field reports indicate that Mindfragger eggs react to human mechanical presence, beginning the hatching sequence when any foreign entity approaches them. But that was actually quite nice. That was a big bump for us. Oh, thank you so much, Shelab. Chat, if you're not familiar with Kilgore, it's a fantastically chill individual who plays a host of retro games. If you have interest in the retro gaming sphere then uh, you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't already follow Kilgore. They were last seen playing Darkstone. Can't say I'm familiar. Actually no, it kind of rings a bell but not enough for me to be confident. I may just be aware of the name. Oh. Uh... 
Apparently, we're going to find another vehicle. Oh, man, and I paid all that money to get it. It's an action RPG in the style of Diablo from 1999. Came out before Diablo 2. Ah, okay. Does it have any... Uh, any kind of uh, Diablo DNA going on there? Any of the development team who worked on Diablo work on it? Or is it just a Diablo-like from the time? It was from Kilgore. I found out about GOG, so I'm extremely grateful. That makes a lot of sense, Mr. Did we figure out if it's worth taking vehicles for these missions, too? Or was it scavenging missions? Uh, to be honest, I need a larger vehicle to be able to bring the vehicles. Alright, let's get our squad into play. Never forget to equip additional magazines for your troops. Having your soldiers run out of ammo during a mission can render them useless on the field. That is true. Unless you are a mutated boy and can spit at people or take them over. The Blade Runner remaster stream looked cool on GOG. That sounds awesome. <laughs> 